Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. You give her a call. She's surprised, but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first, it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life, and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You stop really listening to her. You're too busy blaming yourself for every little thing she talks about. <sighs> yeah. But then, you remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here, and one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? 
Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you.
That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. All this talk of New Year's resolutions has made me realize I actually don't have one yet. We'll work on that together, Kind Haven listeners. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time travel. So he's like, killing his own people? What the hell? Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. The death metal holiday album I put out isn't getting much play, and I have no idea why. We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. Was this worth $19.99? Yes. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars.
Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. That sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hey, Gabe, how do you spell insecurities? I know how to spell. I N S E C U R A. Man, shut up. Okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Dude, what do you know about flexing? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Whatever. I can lift more than you. Do you honestly believe that's true? You want to test me? Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. I'm Gabe. When all else fails... Oh yeah? Well, I'm Steph. I wish I wasn't so bad at foosball, gay stuff, tabletop games. What the hell? I'm gay. Oh, so close. Thank you so much for seeking an education at Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. You just got school. Damn it. I was so sure I had you that time. Oh, Steph. Sweet, naive Steph. Sweet, pure optimistic, bad at foosball stuff. Dude, knock it off. <sighs> Closing out the year the same way I started it. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is amassing great riches in order to build an indestructible weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. supposed to play this with Fiona, but it was probably a good thing we didn't. It takes a beat for your eyes to adjust to the overwhelming shimmer, a sea of ruby, diamond, emerald, and of course, gold. What do you do next? The only thing I can do. Nat 20. Elamon dives headfirst into a pile of metal and glass and somehow, without any explanation, swims around in it as if it is water. Awesome. Damn, Mikey. Fifteen bucks a month is pretty steep. Besides, I didn't need pro editing tools to get my song in good shape.
Thanks for the heads up, Kasha. a little creepy but once you get to know her she's actually armless violet borrowed this from me on our second date well got it back now don't i my best thrift shop find ugly as sin comfy as hell and probably bed bug free I did a bunch of work on my song.
my little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Felt really good to share my song with Mikey. Maybe I should consider this. Thanks for the heads up, Kasha. In surviving one more rotation around the sun, you have traveled 584 million miles. <laughs> so why not kick back with some KRCT? You burned it. Come on, callers. Or don't. Oh yeah, KRCT has gone places. Not that many listeners lately. I blame the well, it hardly needed to be said. It's an honor to be chosen as Olivia's elder game. Come on, callers. Ready to roll. Any smolder use tonight is strictly for show.
What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? All right, Gabe, what did you leave out there? Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problem. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses, now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. Twelve.
even for Gabe. Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. I'm breathing down your neck, Chen. Your January's gonna be hell. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is amassing great riches in order to build an indestructible weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. You're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I am inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Sorry, you're what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How many of you are left? Three, uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Seventeen. Um, go Ducky. So, Ducky's Todd team. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. It is the best of news, and it is the worst of news. You win your tontine this year. The best and worst of news indeed. It's a sad day when your last friend dies, but then 
you think about what you could do with the loot. You use it to spend some time actually enjoying these old mountains you call home. I've always wanted to try my hand at snowboarding. Okay, you go snowboarding. You ride the lift up to the top on your first run, and by accident, you end up on a double black diamond. It's an experience that would be terrifying if you weren't such an inexplicably good snowboarder. On that day, a new ducky is born. Maybe you realize that death packs are really all about celebrating life. The more you live it up, the more you honor their memories. Thank you, Stephanie. This has been most amusing. You got it. Happy New Year, ducky. Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Bright, illuminate, shine. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Ball dropping, the iconic symbol of New Year's, was initially used to help sailors tell time at a distance from the shore. This has been another episode of Steph Ruins Everything.
I guess I should look for anything in the store that has... Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. Wherever you are. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But 
Why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think.